handful of Antam have left the city. Only a handful? I heard they fear the blight in the canals. Opportunists fleeing their easy perch. They should fear that damned butcher instead. Rook, Viago and I are visiting the new memorial. For those we've recently lost. The other remaining crows have already gone. Come meet us there. Please. Of course. Does your octopus look like I sometimes? I like dolls. I make them. Really? I'll show you. It's easy once you get the hang of it. We are not here to be formal. There have been enough funerals. Did you know? I was just turning to say something to Air the other day. Before I remembered, she was no longer there. Fletcher. Oh. I didn't know Chance for long, but he seemed like a good man. Terrible taste in furniture. He always smothered everything in gold. <sighs> I'll miss hearing him complaining that I complain about it. The diamond, the entire city feels so empty. I wonder if it will ever not feel that way. The crows may be flashy, cocky, and always feuding, but we're not delicate. We're not broken. And we'll teach the new fledglings all about those we lost. And the lessons they taught. There is something in that. When did you get here? A while ago. I was reading the letters. Messages for loved ones. Prayers to the Maker. A few letters are to people I would have liked to know again. Or any of the people you miss from House de Riva? A few. And colleagues and rivals from other houses. When I got out of the ossuary, I thought I had time to pull myself together, to make visits that I should. I wonder now what they would have said. All these words for the dead. Do you believe anyone or anything sees them? After I was captured by the Venetori, I would have said no. How could the Maker or any power permit what happened in that place? After all we have seen, I still don't know who, if anyone, hears our cries. But now, I hope they do. Is there anything else we should say? I did mention this isn't formal. But we should do... something. A toast, then. Something we promise the dead we will think about over drinks to come. That we won't stop until those who killed them are gone. That I would drink to. Gladly. The crows rule Antiva. And tonight, we mourn with her. There's an interesting letter there, Rook. That art merchant with information on the Antam lives near here. Hello? Are you all right? Antam sent me up in my own gallery. Then the brutes left to get more reinforcements against a single woman. Would you be a dear and clear away? Done. I'll unlock the door. Come in, please. My saviors, welcome. You said you had information on the Anton. Are they after you? They barricaded me in and said I would starve unless I handed over the contents of my gallery. Lately, they've been taking paintings, sculptures, all sorts of treasures. <sighs> and to think I overheard someone in the market yesterday bragging about dealing with the atrocious brutes. The market master might know more about what those dreadful Antam are up to. I'm in your bed. Please, look around. So much suffering. The gods are sending a I was trained to deal with dueling injuries, like slashes and puncture wounds. 
All right. We should talk to the market master if we want to learn why Antam is stealing pieces of art. My people's gods finally returned. Hello. This might sound strange, but I was told you might know about Antam stealing paintings. It's bad for business. And somebody here knows something. Everyone notices the master of the market. But you? Stay hidden. Listen near the stores. You might learn something about our Antam art collectors. Let's listen carefully around the market. Don't want to scare anyone off. Barely any customers to die. It's a wonder anyone still lives in the city the way it is now. But I mean, Antam, I didn't think they went in for things like fancy paintings. I wouldn't know anything about... Hmm. Well, that would explain the Antam who came by not an hour ago. They took my best sculpts without paying. Huh. Right here. Oh, yes. I did hear they've been piling up stolen goods in a camp in the Drowned District. Spy on me, Oliver. We're close to that camp where the Antan took their merchant stolen sculptures. around for that stolen arm. No any sign of what the Antam are doing with it. Nothing here. Still nothing. Strange. You'd think a few statues would stand out. Still nothing. I don't see anything that merchant in the market was talking about. No stolen art. I've got a hunch we should check with him again. Hmm. Is this what you call acting for Treviso? Is this all you do? Someone must supervise and make sure paperwork is filed. You can't trust people to just do things. You can trust some people. Thank you for finishing that as contract. We worked very hard on it. He was a friend? He was a crow. That would have been enough. But he was also a very good friend. Come to make more trouble? Can't you crows contain yourselves to the diamond? This is our city. Why shouldn't we protect it? Who decided it was yours? The winner of your latest petty treachery? 
Responding to the Butcher requires a properly appointed leader, one who will make proper decisions. Treviso requires governance, not games. That merchant who said the Antom stole his artwork, he's with the Venatori. Bet he caught us listening in. So he sent us off on a chase. Should have seen it coming. The note said the Antom are trading the art of Venatori collectors in exchange for rare magical components. Mierda, as if the blight in the streets was not enough. The note doesn't say what the components are for, but the meeting location is a different Antom camp, in the center of the city. Let's head there and figure out what they're working on with the Ven- Okay, we're close to the camp where Antom are trading with the Venatori for magical components. Find out what the Antarm and the Venatoria are actually. This note is about Gatlock, that Canari blasting powder. The Antarm are using magical components from the Venatori to make it more explosive, much more explosive. Well, look at what they can achieve when they work together. We must go to De and Diago with this as soon as possible. Agreed. You fought Darkspawn. None of them touched me. I will inspect you later. All right. Good news? The Venatoria are helping the Antam make their Gatlock explosives even more powerful. What? It's not ready yet. They're still experimenting. Then we have some time. The Crows will investigate. We had better. I am sure we'd be among the Antam's first targets. Get the door! Am I flogged? Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Same ocean as the one next to Hal's fish stand. Feels different here. Nev, if I asked what's bothering you, would I get an answer? Alia says my Rathus is broken, and I... I've called it the same. I don't like it that way. Are you worried about what some Benatori said? Don't let her get under your skin. I know. You know, when you were assassinating all those Benatori, it's too bad Alia missed the list. Say the word, then I'll make up for it this time. We got that door open.
I can't believe you're asking for a favor as though nothing's happened. What crapped in your bed? Sorry, didn't know you two were in Rook. the middle of... Excellent. Come in. Uh, we could use a second sober voice. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. It's a figure of speech. Tosh? I didn't do anything. Oh, come now. I need one of these little needle things to dig some crap out of my armor. Death Mage won't give me one. First, a bone threader is an extremely delicate instrument. Second, it's Emric, Tash. My name is Emric, not Death Mage, not Corpse Guy, not... I won't repeat the rest. What? You are a Death Mage. Why are all my attempts to converse with you met with scorn? What have I done to you, Tash? You talk about corpses too much. It's a rich topic. No, corpses are messed up. They used to have people in them. You make a move like they're alive, but they smell wrong and they move wrong and none of it is okay. Oh. Especially the ones with skin still on them. I figured you two would butt heads at some point. Then I do wish you'd said something. Yeah. Where were you? I don't... You two can't gang up on me. You dragged me into this. Too late. You're here now. I'd no idea necromancy upset you so deeply, Tosh. Uh, quite honestly, I didn't think you feared anything. I don't. But... I could have said it was bugging me. I didn't think you cared what I thought. Of course I do. We're colleagues on this journey. Okay. Sorry I called you a skull fu Liker. Skull Liker. Maybe you two can find different things to talk about around each other. I'll try not to press on the subject of necromancy when we travel together, Tosh. Okay. Thanks. It's fine if I ask about it first. In that vein, could we avoid any dragon trivia? What? Who doesn't like dragons? There's lots of other stuff to talk about. Tosh knows Ravain and the Cune. Emric knows Navara and Plants. Plants? Plants are okay. I have always been curious about the Lords of Fortune. See? It's a start. Honestly, with everything I've heard about Gillanane, I'm glad it wasn't worse. In the legends about her, she's nice. She created the Hala. She guides us to our destination. But if you read between the lines, it's, well, creepy. Oh, good. This is ominous. Biago found something. Something bad, I take it. Benatori have been sighted among the relief effort in Treviso. Zara's minions, perhaps. But Ilario is certain Zara is in Byrantium, and that any Benatori are another distraction. What do you think? I think I need to visit Treviso and find out for myself. You're not going alone. I can handle this, Rook. Between what Zara did to you, Spite, and everything happening in Treviso, you can't know that. Besides, it's a chance to clear the air between us. You don't need to do this, but it will make for a smoother operation. The one advantage of chaos in Treviso is informants get desperate. It took an obscene amount of money, but I have a solid lead. Zara is in the Chantry there. What's she doing in a Chantry? If she's there to pray. It won't save her from me. We only get one shot at this. We go when you're ready. Over here. I have a route to the Chantry. Let me know when you're ready. How 
much did you pay your informant again? Enough to be certain. Zara is here. She owes me a debt of blood and misery, paid in full. There you are. What took you so long? Did you stop for coffee again? Ilario? What are you doing here? I'm coming with you, cousin. No arguments. This is my job. This is Crow business. How did you even know we'd be here? Ah, Rook. Come to see how we're faring? Treviso will blossom again. You must let me show you the progress we've made. The Carnist told you not to come. This isn't your type of job, cousin. There's no one you can charm into dropping their guard. Only fanatics. All you can do is get yourself killed. Do you think I'm not good enough? Are you? Fine. Have it your way, cousin. You know best. Let's go, Rook. Zara is waiting. Go on then. Don't keep Zara waiting. You were right, Lucanus. They are hiding in the Chantry. Troubles, you dare interrupt! <laughs>
was Portia, Zara's favorite dreamer and soothsayer. She used to come to the ossuary to read bones. If she's here, so is Zara. Where does this go? Another dark hole. Zara will not escape me. We'll finish the job. Take it to him! Stop now. You. I will bring Lady Zara your beating heart to the gift.
kid follows Zara around the prison like a sycophantic shadow. We're close. He won't be far from her side.
just numbered her guards. We're close. I can feel someone using blood magic. A lot of blood magic. You can sense that. It makes the back of my eyes hurt. What happened here? Civilized to drop in on a lady unannounced. Now the evening's ruined. You've got something on yourself. How very eloquent. Your mind, Sara. Descends with my knife through your heart. Temper, temper, Lucan.
snipers.
That just won't do.
Why don't we talk? I, I can tell you much about Venatori and our pet crows. No, I want her heart quivering on our knife. You want to know who betrayed you, don't you? Who sent you to the ossuary? Doc! I knew you were risk. Ilario, I told you this is crow business. Oh, Mata! No! Mine! Get Ilario out! What? No! Rook, I can't! That's enough! What did you do to him? Nothing. I don't know what happened any better than you. You have to get him out of here. Rook, keep him away. From Treviso, from the Cross. He is a danger to the family. You're awake. Yes. I've been trying to figure out what to say to you. And there aren't words enough to apologize. It's never been that bad before. The way you're dealing with spite, it's not working. I know. We need to talk about Ilario. He wants you to stay away from the crows. He thinks you're a danger to your family. He's not wrong. If I cannot stay in control... He used blood magic to control spite. What? How? He's not a mage. I don't know, but... something's not right. The night you were captured, did Alario know you were boarding that ship? Yes. And if it turns out he betrayed you? Then make her help him. Rook, you did not need to come with me on this, but I'm grateful that you did. Are we good? Or better, at least? You and I? Yes. But Spide and I, we cannot go on like this. I have to find another way. Shipment of supplies for the injured and the blighted just arrived. Sent by the Shadow Dragons. Allies in Minrathus. I never would have thought it. I have already penned your thank you note. Rook, we have news about the Antam's experiments with Gatlock. What's happening? They're working with Venatori to set off these new and improved explosives across the city. The Antam will claim it was to scare away Darkspawn while they destroy areas loyal to the Crows. Our agents cannot be everywhere. I will mark several locations where they store the Scatlock. Destroy it, discreetly. There's the experimental Gatlock. Looks like the Venatori and Antar are guarding it. it up the At least they're in one place.
Do this again. On the job. Just tell me what you're thinking. Yeah. At the Chantry. Spite, you know what happened. I don't... Look here. Onto the next one. Oh, Minratus needs one of these. The Antam couldn't take the cafe. Too many poison cups. Over there. More of that Gatlock the Venatori made stronger. Got company.
Just one more pile of Gatlock to deal with. Good. The Antan barely seem to know how to use it themselves. <laughs> All right. Just tell me what you're thinking. At the Chantry, Spite, you know what happened. I don't... All right. You want to know what I'm thinking? It's less about the demon, more about the blood magic. There's something knotted up in there. And if you're waiting for me to look at you different, hate to disappoint. No, that's a lie. I enjoy it. I think I want to say thank you, but I'm not sure. I get that a lot. There's that last catch of Gatlock. And the Untime and Venatoria are on alert. Gotten rid of the last of this new Gatlock. The Venatori and Antan didn't seem to enjoy each other's company. Neither seemed impressed with their magical Gatlock either. They won't be making another batch anytime soon. Treviso may be blighted, but no one's burning down any part of it. And the Antam have been reminded that the crows have ears everywhere. Hey, Rook. Come to stare into the fire. I've heard that helps people think. Can't say I've had luck with it. Lucanus? Where is he? Back, demon! No further! Isn't standing up to them supposed to work? Let Lucanus go! Don't make us hurt both of you! What's going on? Lucanus? It's not Lucanus, it's the demon! It's taking him over, he's trying to leave! <sighs> Smells like... Jam and brimstone. Rook, do something! Spite! This man is not your puppet, and stunts like this won't change that. How did... Rook? Dash? Ah. You... tried to walk through the Alluvian in your sleep. Spite wanted out. I need coffee. You can't just caffeinate your way out of this. It's hard for Spite to take control when I'm awake, so I try to stay awake. You can't just stay awake forever. 
I think that would kill you. I'll be more careful next time. You need to restrain yourself while you sleep. Lock the door, tie yourself to the bed, whatever it takes. I'll come up with something. And thanks. <laughs>